what the government have collected is that floods and climate of magnitude and seen before have been experienced. But the government is happy to announce that no one has been hurt. That all citizens have been accounted for and that all are safe and safely tucked in warm and safe. Of course, our detractors have tried to paint a gloomy picture that floods are everywhere. We want to take this early opportunity as government that we shall stay the course and that we shall not be distracted. We urge all citizens, wherever they may be, that safety is personal. Rain is an act of God. God made rain, but man made floods. We are now experiencing extremes in weather patterns. Small changes in Earth's temperature can have big effects and some of them are already happening. There were days when people would expect either rain, cold and hot weather at specific periods. This is not the case today as the past is no longer a reliable predictor of the future. The water is here because of all the human activities that people are doing. Look at all the factories that have been built everywhere. All the factories are producing fumes. Those fumes are going straight into the atmosphere, changing the weather patterns, and then we get droughts and floods like this one. You're not even taking care of this place, so this is not our home, and we are going to die. Hey, we are not going to die. Don't, going you, to die. don't you dare repeat that we are not going to die. If okay. there's anybody who's going to die in the, on, the, on top of this bus, is you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not going to die. No, what kind of a death is this? What do you mean that I'm going to die on top of a bus? How can I die on top of a bus? Can, can you imagine what the headlines will be saying? Oh, flamboyant Kim died on top of a bus. What kind of a death is that? I want to die a special death. I want to die a death that people will talk about. No, I want to be flying with my private jet and then crash and die. No, that's, hey. that, 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 that's a good death. I want to be driving my escalator and then I collide head on with the beast. No, that's kind of, that, that's an important death. I want to die a trending death. I want my death to have a hashtag, not dying on top yeah, of You know, there is no pride in death. I don't even see why you people are wasting time talking here. By now you should be calling your parents, call your loved ones, tell them your last words, because you're going to die. There's no, there's no way we are surviving this, we are going to die. Climate patterns play a fundamental role in shaping natural ecosystems and the human economies and culture that depend on them. This may have many economic impacts, including loss of crops, changes in water supply, increased occurrence of natural disasters, and increased health care costs related to infectious diseases and temperature-related illnesses. Due to forced migration in search of water and pasture, communities are increasingly displaced, sea levels are rising, oceans are getting more acidic, islands are slowly disappearing. The whole delta in Kauka, ndio sisi unaona maisha yetu inaenda chini, kila mwaka, kila wiki, kila mwezi, maisha yetu inazidi kwenda chini. Hayawani yetu inaanza kumalizika. We are now witnessing more conflicts over scarce resources, droughts are occurring frequently. Floods are common and wildfires are on the rise. In some parts of the coast we have uh, erosions, meters, tens of meters, even kilometers in some parts of, uh, of, of the African coast. 
uh, which can uh, basically be associated with, uh, with, with climate change. Here we are at Kaluta, and this water is ocean water. And that is strange because this used to be a living branch of the river, of the Tana River. Ule mteremko wa maji umepungua kiwango cha kwamba maji ya bahari yameweza kuwa na nguvu zaidi kushinda yale maji ya mto mteremko wa maji ya mto ambapo yalikuwa mengine yakipita kule na huku mteremko ukawa mdogo. In the end the ocean is going to cut back through the river and then they won't have any water to do any farming. Take you. Why dunia? Una place penye watu wanajua vizuri that passenger kubwa ya world iko covered na maji. Na ushindwa ni hao au amka kila asubuhi kwenda kutota maji from the morning due due to water scarcity. So how kwa forced to sacrifice wanyama na kusema billion prayers in form of a million signatures to petition God for clarity. For some time now Experts have been discussing climate change, but in reality, not many people have understood the complexity and seriousness of the issue. Climate change. Uh... Uh, well, I can say recently it has been too hot, and the way they were saying about the El Nino coming in October. Our generation inherited a greener planet from our ancestors, but currently, climate change is the greatest threat facing humanity. Climate change is the greatest challenge facing humanity today. The effects of climate change are being felt all over the planet, but not equally. In Africa, millions already feel the consequences of global warming, yet millions more have never reaped the benefits that citizens in countries with high carbon economies have long taken for granted. Climate justice demands that the world seizes the climate moment. Climate change is mostly the buildup of human-generated greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and chlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere that present the largest single threat to the ecology and biodiversity of the planet and to humanity. I need to call my dad. Okay, my yeah. iPhone and my S6 are in the water. All my three phones are dead too. Yeah, the only thing I saved is my MacBook. All my phones are dead as well. Oh yeah, you can you can use this one. You, this okay. one will help. Okay, okay, what, what is this? What kind of a phone is that? It's my phone. No, we asked for a phone, not a car remote. Yeah, exactly. But it's a phone. But it's That's a phone. phone. Yeah, it's a very nice phone. In fact, it's an energy saving phone. You want oh, to tell yeah. me you can call someone and that, that and the other person receives through this phone? Yeah. yeah. In fact, as you say, it's energy saving. It's very light. No, no, no. I am not talking about the weight. What I mean is that I do not keep, have to keep on charging my phone. Do you know I only charge my phone only on Mondays? Yeah, it means she doesn't have friends. No, no, no. What I mean is that I only charge my phone only on Mondays and then it stays till the next next Monday. So I don't have to keep on hey. ch ch charging my phone like you guys. Okay, you mean you continue, uh, you, you charge for seven days? Yeah! You don't have a power bank? No, no, no. Best thing about this phone is that it's environmental friendly. Ah, oh, there you go okay. with so your environment go stuff again. again. Where does your kabambe connect with the environment? Okay. What do you use to charge your phones with? Electricity? El yeah. And where do we get electricity from? Kenya Power. Really? That's a very shallow answer. How is it generated? Okay, from water. Yeah. Exactly. Now, do you know it takes almost 26 liters of water to charge one phone for one hour? And you guys keep on charging your phones each and every hour. And I've not even mentioned your power banks. No, this water is about to kill us because somebody somewhere preserved it. Yeah. Yes, someone yeah. was stupid enough to conserve it. Now yeah. it's here killing us. That is where you go wrong. This water is here to haunt us because of our reckless human activities. Now, what, 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 what is wrong with this? What is wrong with What you? human activities? The, the, the littering, the plastic bottles, the, the plastic containers, the yogurt bottles, the PK wrappers that you keep on throwing, and then they go and block our drinking systems. That is the reason why we are here. There is little time left before we fall off the edge. Yeah,
What happens here will clearly assist us to understand the climate change conversation. Originally made out of glass, a greenhouse is where one can grow tomatoes and flowers among other crops. It is usually warm inside here even during cold weather because sunlight shines in and warms the plants and the air inside. In the greenhouse, the heat is trapped because the structure is nearly sealed and during daylight hours, it gets warmer and warmer inside and at night, one can still feel the warmth. Earth's atmosphere experiences the same effect as the greenhouse. Gases in the atmosphere do what the roof of a greenhouse does. It raises the temperature on Earth. Currently, global energy use depends heavily on oil, coal and natural gas, which are referred to as non-renewables because they cannot be replaced once used. They are called fossil fuels because they were formed between 50 million and 350 million years ago from the remains of plants and animals. However, the use of fossil fuel energy is posing serious environmental and health challenges. Energy use and production contribute over 88% of the greenhouse gas emissions. Emissions of greenhouse gases grew at a faster rate over the decade from 2000 to 2010 than they did over the previous three decades. Climate change is a complex problem which impacts on and is impacted by global issues including poverty, economic development, population growth, sustainable development and resource management. At the very heart of the response to climate change lies the need to reduce emissions so that global temperatures do not rise above 2 degrees Celsius. From the moment you're born, unfortunately, uh, you're brought into this world that is so messed up. So you have to be conscious about what's going on. Human activities, such as the use of chemical-based fertilizers in agriculture, are one of the sources of nitrous oxide, one of the greenhouse gases. Although they increase production, synthetic fertilizers are man-made combinations of chemicals that are part of greenhouse gases. Cement production is also among the activities that greatly pollute the earth because to produce it, limestone is heated at 1,400 degrees Celsius to form cement. It is interesting to note here that cement is the second most consumed material after water. Therefore, its production remains a concern when discussing global warming. 
In science, we are taught that forests absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen during photosynthesis, a process used by plants to harness energy. That stored carbon is released into the air as carbon dioxide when trees are burned and deforestation or forest degradation occurs. Sometimes I always feel like hugging a tree and to say words like, I got your back and I will never leave. We will grow together and not even gravity will pull us down. Mitigation measures that aim to reduce greenhouse gases emissions can help avoid, reduce or delay impacts and people around the world are beginning to address the problem. I focused on uh, growing trees, tree seedlings and uh, uh, mitigating uh, global warming um, and educating uh, anybody who would want to, 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 to hear that the more trees you grow, the more oxygen you will release to the atmosphere, the more carbon dioxide you will use, and therefore you will be mitigating against global warming. If anybody comes, I'll teach him how to grow, do them out without having a swamp. I'll teach them how to grow trees sustainably, how to harvest. I'll teach them how to grow napier grass in the modern way. Bamboo, Kaliandra, for free. To make it reversible, we have to go renewable. To make the up a crado, no more this under the table. In Chizama, we just make shampa. Africa to Nazini to Kusapa. is a term used to describe power that comes from natural sources such as sunlight, wind, rain, tides, plants and geothermal heat. In the past few decades, research and development in green energy has exploded, yielding hundreds of promising new technologies that can reduce our dependence on coal, oil and natural gas. To achieve this general results of reducing the greenhouse gases globally, Every single stakeholder should be, should be involved. So the new framework should be a core learning process, should be a core design of the solution and a core implementation of the solution. And we cannot talk about those core implementation and core design without a swift communication. Since it is now a well-known fact that rapid population increase will bring with it growing demands for food, water and energy, investment in sustainable initiatives of water management, renewable energy and agribusiness in communities must be prioritized. If we manage, for instance, in Nairobi to reduce the individual cars and, and, and promote like common transportation, that would be really contributing a lot. Transport is the fastest growing consumer of fossil fuels and the fastest growing source of carbon dioxide emissions. Bad roads can lower the fuel economy of even the most efficient vehicle. Investing in effective infrastructure or upgrading existing roads will help reduce pollution, and so far, rail transport remains the most energy efficient mode today. Mother Nature has cars from the emission of our cars. Let's walk and cycle more to reduce the cycle. We are able, if we use renewable energy like solar and wind, Let's renew, let's recycle, let's reduce, let's reuse. Adaptation strategies are also needed across the country due to the varying gravity and nature of climate impacts between regions. 
Adaptation means anticipating the adverse effects of climate change and taking appropriate action to prevent or minimize the damage. The ability to cope and adapt also differs across populations, economic sectors and regions. I think we need to just change our narrative and our focus and, 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 ask, and ask ourselves a simple question. What's, the end, what's our main focus at the end of the day? We want to produce clean energy. We want to change the livelihoods of people. We want to save people from you know, using kerosene. Although Africa contributes relatively little to global warming, the region is suffering from its effects. Unpredictable rainfall patterns, lower crop yields, soaring food prices and dwindling natural resources are already causing increased poverty, human migration, tension and conflict. This is a community in Meru County being taken through the benefits of using solar energy in an area where due to marginalization and affordability, most homes do not have access to the national grid. Previously we were using paraffin and it, it was costing us a lot and uh, uh, the light we were getting was not uh, good enough for reading. My father found out that because at that time, my father was not able to go to the hospital. I have my TV here. Now we are we are getting informed. We get the current affairs. In a change. Forests play a critical role in mitigating climate change because they act as a carbon sink, soaking up carbon dioxide that would otherwise be free in the atmosphere and worsen global warming. It is therefore crucial to balance the amount of wood taken out with the amount of trees planted. If you go to any place in Africa, they always know the importance of trees. But the poverty situation is such that sometimes communities do not have options. They have to get resources, they have to get financial resources, they have to get cash. From where? From natural resources. Now it's all about planning, the use of natural resources. It's all about developing integrated approach, landscape approach, to see the different benefits of different stakeholders and try to harmonize the resource use at local basis. Many families in Kenya use charcoal as a source of energy to cook, and innovations in the manufacturing of energy will greatly help reduce greenhouse emissions. Are these charcoal making kilns? So the idea that we started thinking of was why would people buy charcoal if you can grow it and make it for free at home? And so the ideal size of charcoal for a cook stove is a branch. And so that's why with these stoves, the idea is you prune branches off of the trees and then you put them into here. And this, as you see, is just an empty recycled um, paint can from, you know, from the industrial area. And then you light a fire on the bottom, fill it up with anything you want to use to make into charcoal. So whether it's branches, you can also use maize cobs, you can use coconuts. Anything that's hard and wood now will become charcoal. This is one of the local initiatives to address energy needs in most homes, where efficient charcoal and wood fuel stoves that use environmentally friendly charcoal made from tree branches, twigs, maize cobs, coconut husks, plus other wood biomass are manufactured. So these are charcoal baking ovens. Uh, basically how they work is they've got double wall insulation. They're made out of uh, alloy zinc sheet steel and then a small ceramic firebox inside where you put the charcoal a small air control door at the front for controlling the temperature of the baking and the chimney starts at the very bottom at the back so it's a convection oven so the heat is going up, down and back out again. And so once you put things in you don't have to be turning them back and forth because the heat's rotating around inside so quickly it's cooking on the top and the bottom at the same time. Maize cob charcoal and so this comes out very very well and this is perfect for a very quick lighting and quick burning. And as you see, it's carbonized all the way through. This is Makaya Mahindi from Michael Scott in Kitale. And then this is coffee charcoal. So you can imagine at the coffee plantations, they prune all of those. So my good friend Uche Kagwa up in Yeri, he makes this. And as you can see, down to the smallest little branches come out perfectly carbonized the way that they went in. It is difficult for some countries like, uh, like Kenya, for example, 
because we are not emitting that much and if we restrict ourselves we, we have to develop industry to be able to create employment therefore we have to at least increase our emission by by some level hello hello jambo hello jambo kenya jambo africa how are you eh? shaka zulu eh? robert mugabe oh, oh no, no 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 nelson mandela uh, we are going to give you guys some money yeah. so that you can give us the shade and you go and plant trees elsewhere yeah money you see, we are going to give so you give us a uh, money in exchange of uh, this shit yes we're going to give you um, uh, a hundred shillings for one dollar for every tree that every you plant. Tree. Every yes, tree. yes. For every tree. Yes. Yes. One dollar. So it sounds like a good deal. It's a good deal. So one uh, one one sibling, one dollar. Uh, that's 100 equivalent a uh, hundred shillings. Yes. Yeah? For so we plant how many trees? We plant like uh, let's plant one million. One million. Trees. One million. So one million trees times uh, one hundred million. Hundred million. Hundred million. We need to have a way how to help them to mobilize financing so that they can adapt properly. And this is where I'm from my perspective, I think, is we need to look at that equity balance between uh, the mitigation and the adaptation. Hi. Hello, um, Zumu. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, I think uh, we are done with the incentives. Yes. We now want yeah. our packs, oh, yeah. our lump sum. How do you? What? Yeah, our money. So what we are trying to say is that uh, we're going to go back to the credit market so that we know how much a tree is worth, so that we know how much we give you guys. No, so, you know, they pay us to plant trees so that they can continue emitting. Yeah, uh -huh. in short, what they're trying to say is that you guys eat, then you pay us to, to excrete. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Take this thing. We want to. Even if we had uh, zero emission today, and we continue planting the trees, it will take very many years for us to go back to where we were. So you, you can imagine how much it, 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 it's going to cost if we continue emitting at the rate that we are emitting and, the, and planting the trees at the small rate that we are. We have the shamba, we have the orchard, that, those are the areas which we put more focus on, but again, you have seen we have planted trees here in the garden, yeah, and also, we have a flower bed down the field. In Nairobi, the young are already taking up measures to mitigate climate change. The more the trees, the more the wealth of Kenya is. So if we start it in small scale, like in schools, institutions, and in our homes, in, when we go to work or to schools, we continue planting them. And when we continue like that, we are going to make our country a better place. This is St. George's Primary School, where pupils are engaged in making their school green. Anything can happen, so if people miss lunch or anything, they can still have something to eat. The mulberry fruits are also edible and helps in a lot of... If you have a disease like diabetes, it's also good for diabetes, and it's rich in a lot of vitamins, vitamin C, A, and a lot of other minerals. Soils contain a stock of carbon that is about twice as large as that in the atmosphere. In this regard, communities should be encouraged to practice conservation agriculture, an exercise meant to minimize soil disturbance in order to produce more with less water and energy. This practice could have even greater impact on food production and livelihoods in the dry areas of our country. When purchasing essentials such as groceries, buying in bulk can reduce the amount of packaging and plastic wrappings. Astonishingly, researchers have confirmed that in homes, people spend more money on electricity bills for power devices when off than when on. Televisions, microwaves, computers, battery chargers, and a host of other gadgets and appliances consume more energy when seemingly switched off. It is highly encouraged to unplug them instead when not in use. Ziku ni kaona ina waka tu, ata hakuna maana ugiamuka uziku wa tunakisha ta, unaona tu mzuri kabisa. Bas, mchana tena ikiwaka na mnaibi na hakuna mawingu ya mfua imesuia, tena na waka tu na mnaibi. 
This type of simple, eco-friendly lighting can work well in informal settlements as well as in a rural setup. Clear bottles full of water are placed in openings on roofs and when the sun shines, light is diverted inward such that on a sunny day, the amount of light is as good as a 50-watt bulb. With this inexpensive innovation, poor families that cannot afford to connect to the national grid can be able to light their rooms using recycled bottles and water. Livestock farming is an important economic activity in Kenya and biogas fuel production can be the solution to replace liquid petroleum gas derived from fossil fuel sources. Biogas is a clean and renewable fuel derived from organic waste, including cow dung, to produce methane gas that can be used for cooking and lighting. It has not rained for several months in Makweni, but this lady is harvesting water from a riverbed in one of the driest parts of Kenya. She is able to do that because of the amount of sand around the area. As an adaptation measure, communities in such environments where rainflow is low are highly encouraged to construct sand dams, reinforced walls built across seasonal sandy rivers. They are not only simple and cheap to construct, with almost no cost in terms of maintenance, but can also retain a lot of water during dry seasons. This system also recharges groundwater that is located in rocky areas below the surface. <laughs> I think it's 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 urgent. It's 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 quite urgent. It's not some. It's not a conversation that we can keep on putting off, um, thinking that it's only the industries, the industrial nations that are contributing to the to to climate change. We do as well in our own in our own homes every day uh, through wasting energy. The little things that we do affect the climate, like throwing of the small papers. Maybe I'll think that I'm the only one who was through because it's just a small one. It won't do anything, but there are some other people who have done the same, which when we put together can cause a very huge thing. Just play your, your part, as little as it is, it all starts with you. It's even the simplest things like when you use your credit voucher, just don't throw it anywhere. 
because at the end of the day, that voucher will go block the, the, the drainage systems and then all those things you've been throwing, they'll just come back right to your, your doorstep, flood your homes and everything. Just be, just, just play your part. Don't waste water, don't, don't, don't cut trees. And when you, when you get to know these things, make sure you tell the next person next to you. The window of opportunity for avoiding a climate catastrophe is open, but it is closing and closing fast. Now is the time to seize that window of opportunity. The first four letters in the word planet is plant. We all want to change this world into a proper planet, but we don't have a proper plan yet. We want the elite say, to be part of a mission where a mission is just but a word in the dictionary. We need to be less revolutionary and more visionary. This is not a climate change poem, this is a climate changed poem. Mother Nature has scars from the emission of our cars. So let's walk and cycle more to reverse the cycle. We are able to renew with use renewable energy like solar and wind. Let's recycle, let's reuse, let's reduce, let's speak till our voices can echo into the ecosystem. Yeah.